Hey, I'm Chuck Dransfield, and I'm continuing my story of Clark Gable and Carol Lombard and how their relationship started. Now, I mentioned about how um, Carol had bribed a bellboy in the Beverly Wilshire Hotel where Clark was staying after separating from his wife, Rhea. She bribed the bellboy to set loose in his room while he was sleeping two lovebirds with a note attached to the leg of one of the birds saying, how about it? Well, they didn't get to date again, if you can even call it a date, but they both were attending this daytime event. Um, a mutual friend, a woman, uh, she had just suffered what is known as a nervous breakdown and she was in recovery and under doctor's orders, she was not to go out at night. So her friend staged an elaborate formal event in broad daylight at noon and the men had to come in tuxedos, white tie and tails, and the women had to wear their best evening gowns and jewelry, just like an evening event. And Clark and Carol reacquainted again. Uh, I think it was a festive atmosphere. People were having a good laugh about it. And they went out on the tennis court at the, at the mansion where it was being held. And Clark and his tuxedo and tails and Carol, Carol in her ball gown played tennis together. Uh, there was even a photograph of it that appeared in one of the fan magazines. Uh, it was not too long afterwards. If you recall, I told the story about how Carol, Carol and Clark rode around the block at the Mayfair Ball in Gable's stupendous Duesenberg car, one of only two of its kind in existence. And Carol thought, you know, Clark needs something just a little more unique and one of a kind. So she went to a junkyard and found a dilapidated old jalopy, the worst, almost the worst she could find. And she paid quite a bit of money to get mechanics to get that car back in working order. She then took it to be painted, painted white with red hearts all over it. <laughs> And what was funny, um, it was delivered to Clark. He loved it. And he did ask her out for a formal date. And this was, you know, full evening gown and regalia, all that. So Carol was expecting to be picked up by Clark in his Duesenberg. He arrived in the old jalopy with seats with springs popping out of the cushions and everything. And there was Carol in her gown and her mink and... She just gracefully got in the car like she was getting into a limo and they drove off to their destination and their great love story, which continued to really build momentum from that point onward.